outside. And I am just a heroine. I will be a little asthma. I'm a mom's happy. I'm Hui Fu. I'm Hannah Spirit. I'm Shelby Stevens. I'm Emily Winslow. And, and we, we want to make the world a better place. Mr. Bentley, our teacher, introduced us to an assignment called Project Citizen. Project Citizen is a way for kids to make a change in their community by fixing a problem. To start off, we wrote ideas on big posters of what bug goes in community. Later, Ma thought of the idea of seatbelts on school buses. He thought this was a safety issue because people were getting hurt and killed from not having seatbelts on school buses. Our group was struggling at first to find trustworthy information on websites. There were lots of statistics and lots of websites with contradictory information. What we did learn amazed us. <laughs> We learned from the American Academy of Pediatrics and NHTSA National Highway Traffic Safety Administration that we have six deaths and 17,000 injuries annually. This information persuaded us to learn more about bus safety and advocate for seatbelts on school buses. To get started, we asked Mr. Bentley for help. He told us to write an email to Jill Gialdo. She is the Director of Transportation in the Elk Grove Unified School District. In our email, we explained we were trying to learn more about bus safety and whether or not seatbelts was something that the district was pursuing. We sent her several questions regarding this. Before we sent an email to Mrs. Gialdo, we sent it to our principal, Mrs. Kropp, to get her feedback on what we were saying and how we were saying it. Mrs. Kropp told us she read it, but we came on too strong. She said we should do it again, but not talk like Mrs. Gaiotto does not care about child safety. <laughs> so, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate your letter, and I, I just wanted to see if I can give you a little bit of advice, a few tips that maybe might help in the communication piece. Um, when you're communicating with adults who don't, are not used to working with children, kind of all, all the in general, sometimes it's your, your voice, because you're also knowledgeable about what you're trying to do, comes across a little strong. She gave us some great advice to think about. We made a few changes with the help of Mr. Bentley and resent it to Ms. Kropp. Mrs. Kropp this time sent an email back saying she loved it. Then we sent it to Mrs. Jagai. A few hours later, she emailed us back. She was so excited to hear that we were studying the subject. She gave us some statistics about how many people die in. On average, about one student per year. She told us that what happens inside a school bus during a crash, where it happens inside the danger zone, outside the school bus, behind and in front. Our statistics are very different from ours. We also learned that the reason we don't have seatbelts on old school buses is because of funding. We don't have enough money for seatbelts on old school buses because the death and injury level is so low. Knowing that we couldn't get seatbelts on school buses, we are opting for a new way to make a difference in our community by making PSAs, educating students about staying away from school buses danger zone. The danger zone is the blind spots of a bus driver. By making these videos, we can prevent death and injuries. The videos will go online for the entire world to see. Adults aren't the only ones who can make a difference. We can too.